everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel, and today we're going to do, uh, I believe is the seventh, yeah, we're almost there, the seventh uh, Key to Harmonious Union. This is the seventh in uh, our eight-part series on um, the eight keys that are mentioned in Jeff and Shalia's book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. You can get this on Amazon. I highly recommend that you do to read through the book because it's more than just the eight keys. It includes the mirror exercise and a lot of really important details to know if you're on the twin flame journey. Um, that said, we're going to dive into the next key and that is forgiveness. And I know this is going to, you know, sound very similar to what we discussed for unconditional love and compassion, but Forgiveness is something that I think people struggle with um, a lot, um, including myself. Like it's one of those things that I'm still learning. Um, and a lot of most of these eight keys, I'm still mastering in some way. Um, but for forgiveness, I think everybody knows that, you know, to forgive is, to, is divine. Um, and to forgive is actually not for the person that you're forgiving it's actually for for you because if you're holding on to a grudge what is that really giving you are you winning by holding on to that anger and toxic energy within yourself that negative energy um are they feeling that uh and that has somehow like caused you to win in some way um you know if you're holding on to a grudge especially against uh, like against your twin flame, you're also holding it against yourself. Um, so are you forgiving yourself for the things that you think you've done? Are you for what are you unwilling to forgive your twin flame for? And why? What are you getting out of it? If you're having trouble letting it go? Um, you know, these are things that you want to go deeper into both with the mirror exercise and really just getting honest with yourself in like an introspective way of, you know, why, um, you know, holding on to any type of grudge or how that helps. Because I think that's where we get stuck with, oh, I'm, I can't let this go. And when you really look deeper um, about, um, why you're holding on to this has been in the shot the entire time <laughs> so here's a place where i need to forgive myself right this is like something that god is using as an example of i could get really angry with myself right now of, oh i should have seen it in the shot instead of just like focusing on the message that i'm giving you um but it's actually for a purpose it's actually like uh you know i i didn't plan this god is planning this, this video and it's like i could be upset with myself and I could stop the video right now and I could do a retake, but I'm, I'm actually not going to, this is going to be uploaded, um, as is, is seeing like, oh, I had my water bottle in the shot the entire time. And I could be really hard on myself and I could be unforgiving of myself. Like, oh my God, I should have known better. Um, and, or I could forgive myself and not hold that against myself. I could let myself off the hook. And when thing, things with your twin flame can obviously seem a little bit more important than a water bottle and a, the shot of the video, you know, my like Starbucks moment, um, for those Game of Thrones fans or haters out there, whichever one you, whichever camp you fall into, um, you know, like, uh, you know, they can seem way more serious, right? You, you feel like you can't forgive your twin flame for not choosing you or you can't forgive your twin flame for treating you badly or leaving you or whatever it is or not you know whatever it is that your twin flame is like supposedly doing to you uh, because again they are your mirror remember like they mirror your consciousness to you always 100 percent, they will do that and it won't all be reflected all at once but anything that you're you're seeing from them that you don't like that you're holding a grudge against them, you know, that's you holding against it against yourself as well. So be honest with yourself and look at where, you know, you look at where you want to be more 
uh, compassionate, more forgiving of yourself. And what I really love about this section of the book is that Jeff and Shalia go on to really um, say what, what forgiveness is, and it's letting go of something completely. It's like unconditional surrender of any grudge that you have. Not, oh, I'll forgive him if he apologizes. I'll forgive her if she does this. I'll forgive them if this plays out the way that I want it to. I'll forgive her if they return to me. You know, let all of that go. That's actually keeping you from the love that you desire. Um, you know, they talk about in the book and in, in this section about how a lot of twin flames are like, you know, energetically, like uh, arms crossed, back to back, not like just waiting for the other one to like magically decide that they've forgiven and or that they've wronged the other and, uh, you know, then they'll come back to them. And while that may happen and uh, you can experience that in a soulmate relationship with your twin flame, again, they're your mirror. They're your perfect mirror. They're literally you. Uh, there's another coach uh, affiliated with Twin Flames Universe, um, Kanisha, who I've heard her refer to it as, you know, you're you're frowning at the mirror and you're expecting you're expecting it to smile back at you. Um, so if you're doing that with your twin flame, if you're like, oh, like I need that per I need my twin flame to apologize to me before I'll forgive them, or I need them to do something before I'll forgive them, then you're really just playing yourself. You're like, oh, like I I've got you, but you really haven't. You're really uh, poisoning yourself with your own grudge, um, and they aren't experiencing those effects. Yeah, sure, they're not with you, but, and they're, like, doing it in their own way, but you're not winning. Neither of you are winning by holding on to your grudge, so you can choose, because you who are watching this video are actively on the journey and actively able to make a choice for your union. You can make the choice of unconditional love, unconditional surrender, to forgiveness and for and again that's like not um forgiveness and al allowing like bad behavior it's uh forgiveness of for yourself of letting go of those grudges letting go of that toxic energy that's really just holding you back um and something that i, I just wanted to um bring up too is that there is a decree that Jeff and Shalia have in the book that is really powerful. And I want to read it to you here because I think it's very helpful for any of you who are struggling with um, with forgiveness and just know that like you can forgive yourself for being unforgiving and you can also be compassionate with yourself if this is taking um, you know a long time or it feels like a struggle to forgive. Um, it is a process and it's not something that you have to do overnight, um, but mastering it does help you come into harmonious union. And so anytime that you are feeling that those grudges or you're finding it hard to forgive someone or your twin flame or yourself, um, here's this decree that you can say in your heart. Um, it's, I choose to forgive all upsets past, present, and future, any time they arise. Forgiveness comes easily, joyfully, and naturally to me because forgiveness is part of who I am and extending forgiveness to another naturally extends it into myself. So anytime, and again, I highly recommend you pick up this book, but anytime that you are experiencing that feeling of grudge, like, oh, I'm just so angry at my twin flame. I just can't forgive them. I'll lose something if I forgive them. Like, I'll tell them that their behavior was okay. I'll tell them, blah, 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 blah. It, like, it sends the wrong message if I forgive them. Forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. Um, so remember that. Use this decree. Use the mirror exercise. And really just bring love and compassion to that space because really when you're holding on to a grudge and you're holding on to all these things there's a place that you're just really feeling that hurt you're really feeling like you've been wronged 
or that you are a victim in some way and you do have power to change that experience for yourself. And it does start with forgiveness and the willingness to let it go completely and love yourself. Um, another thing that I want to bring up before we close on this topic is that um, you know, A Course in Miracles talks about this too and about forgiveness and how it, it really like frees you um, and definitely uh, pull it out in the book as well. Um, and it, it says, forgiveness recognizes that you thought your brother did, what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. It does not pardon sins and make them real. It sees that there was no sin. And in that view are all your sins forgiven. What is sin except a false idea about God's child? For forgiveness merely sees its falsity and therefore lets it go. What then is free to take its place is now the will of God. And I think that is like, so powerful because if you really break down anything that you're holding against yourself or your twin flame or anyone, um, you can see that it's built on a lie. Um, and this is, you know, really taking into um, the spiritual aspect of this, um, the, the spiritual aspect of this journey in that, you know, you cannot be harmed. You are the creator of your reality. You are responsible for all these things that happen. Even if you're not actively, uh, you know, you don't think you're actively doing something to yourself. You may be calling, you are calling in all of the experiences that you have in order to heal and grow and love yourself deeper. And so if you feel like someone has wronged you, if you feel like your twin flame has left you, um, you're recognizing separation consciousness. You're saying like, oh, this is real. And it's not, it is an illusion. You were created with your twin flame. You have always been with your twin flame. You can never be apart from your twin flame. So how could they have left you? How could they be separate from you? How could they be choosing anything other than what you're choosing? How could they be doing anything other than loving you? And, you know, if you, you can't be harmed because you are spirit and hurt is not real and pain is not real, and suffering is not real. You can experience these things, but they are not real. God did not create them. And so when you pull your belief from them away, you can see how all these things, all these things that you think that have been done to you um, are just lies, just illusions. And it's easy to say, mm, no, like that's the lie. And when you have this awareness and you undo those like beliefs, it's very easy to start letting go and forgiving in those spaces and having compassion for yourself because you don't have to believe the lie and you don't have to believe the illusion. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, leave a, uh, actually, <laughs> and ring the bell. Uh, to be notified the next time one of these videos is uploaded. If you are having uh, trouble with forgiveness or if you are having challenges on your Twin Flame journey and you'd like to have that extra support, my services are at sacredtwinflameunion.com. I offer ascension coaching and oracle card readings to help you um, really understand uh, what's going on and fast track your journey into harmonious union. Uh, you can find those services at sacredtwinflameunion.com and I will see you all in the next video.